I slide in opposite you in a really oversized booth amongst this lunch rush crowd. Think about how these are my favorite kinds of lunches because I'm so grateful that you've become the big sister I missed out on as a little girl. And so here I sit, eyes on you. I watch your every move, always do, even though I don't think you really notice. You don't seem to notice a lot of things, actually, for someone so incredibly intelligent. I mean, you notice some stuff, like that the waitress uses the phrase, no worries, an absurdly annoying amount. And you think to tell me to order whatever I want. But you miss the guys a few tables over who are very clearly checking you out. You miss the little girl walking by who absolutely sparkles when she sees you throw your head back in laughter. You miss the you stuff. You say that's crazy. You call me crazy all the time. But I'm not crazy. I just notice the you stuff. The way you describe your real little sister as smarter or thinner or cooler. The way you joke about being cold and bitchy. A hot mess. Cat lady. Unworthy. I notice how you tin cotton candy pink under any compliment. How you hate attention almost as much as you hate the Redskins and Democrats and tomatoes. Like right now, you can see it in my eyes over my peach tea that I'm thinking about retorting that last self-deprecating comment camouflaged in a funny little story you are casually telling as you peruse the menu. Insert my giant eye roll here. I just wish you would see it. I wish you would understand. You close your menu. I wait as your eyes find mine again. And when they do, I try. Do you think actions speak louder than words? That I can tell by the way you tilt your head, exhale, wasn't quite what you were expecting. Of course I do, my sweet. You lace through a chuckle. I shrug. Well, it's just that you question how I swing by the office with coffee for you. You were even surprised I wanted to hang out today. Your face softens, and now I know I've got you. You're intrigued. You know why I do that, right? And as you look down, your eyelashes fluttering against your cheeks, I'm struck with a realization. You're not just being evasive. I realize now you really don't know that you actually have no idea at all about any of it, about you. Uh, come on, I start. I mean, yeah, it makes your day to get a pumpkin spice latte, but it's because I love you, duh. Oh no, don't even, don't give me that look, do not. I know you think you're too this or not enough of that, and I get it, I do. But I just, you, I just wish you saw the woman I want to be like. The one who is ridiculously intelligent, fiercely generous, courageously determined, remarkably gorgeous, and frustratingly humble. And yes, I know. I don't know everything. I know you're human. I know you're not perfect. But you even have the best kind of flaws. Even the overbearing humility, the worrying too much, the imperfection. I even admire how you are imperfect. We sit in silence as the waitress comes up to the table, pours more tea. Because you might see imperfect or messy, but from here, on the little sister side of Big Sister Lunch, I see Wonder Woman. Heart of a servant, courage of a warrior, elegance of a princess, Wonder Woman. And I want to be just like her. Just like you.